I think the uh, vibe was was I think the vibe was pretty solid. I mean, you know what? It, it was a really good. Sh I didn't know what to expect. Right, you know. So I mean, it's funny. So like, you know, I'm I'm always, I'm rarely early, but I'm always on time. Right. So I'm down there, like right at pretty much seven thirty, because of course yeah. I don't, you know, as usual, I don't I don't read anything. Right. So yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. I know it starts at seven thirty, and in my head, so I'll start to seven thirty or you know yeah. whatever. Eight o'clock, we get going. Right, logical in my yeah. head. <clears throat> so anyway, I get down there for seven thirty, and it's uh, there's you know there's there's a there's there's a few people mulling around outside, having a little bit yeah. to eat, maybe 60, 70 people. So I grab yeah. some stuff, I go inside the hall. Hall's empty, right? And there's right. lots of seating, right? <clears throat> yeah. So I went back out, and um, thought, okay, whatever. And then I went and grabbed a seat. Actually, before that would happen, it's funny. I, I I grabbed something. I went to sit on the couch. I just had a muffin. And I walked by and I look at this person and she looks at me. And she goes, Kenny. I said, yeah. And she goes, you don't know. I said, N not the name. I said, I know you though. <laughs> right? So it's who was it? Jeanette. The candies in Victoria. The candy shop. Oh, shit. Yeah, got it. It's hilarious. I'm looking at it. Oh my God. I said, because I said, it's really bad because I said, I get to know these faces for an hour. And I said, and then because my memory is this crap, I said, I, I hold them and I'm thinking, and then she's laughing. She goes, where'd you, I said, you could have been, I'm thinking, nope, she wasn't stash tea. Could she have been uh, one of the tea companies? Like I'm going back in London drugs days because I'm I'm recognizing yeah, thinking because you're trying to figure what out the yeah. hell. Anyway, she was working yeah. for um, she's working for the BC government, uh, the BC uh, in, oh, in, wow. the, uh, in agriculture. Oh wow! What did you do ministry. with her place? Did you sell it? She sold it. Oh, I mean, she ended up selling it because um, well, I mean, we remember we had the podcast at that time. I think if I'm trying to go back and remember, um. I think she was actually had a good little business. Remember, she had a profitable business. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And she was They're making really money. Really delicious, delicious candy. Super, yeah. yeah. And I think she was, yeah. we, we, when we talked to her, must have talked to her probably, well, I know, like six, seven year. months, eight months into COVID. Yeah. Or what, maybe I, I want to say like a year and a half ago. Okay. So possibly the year yeah. after COVID could have been 2020, yeah. maybe 2021. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. um, she sold it. Um, wasn't going to do much and it was started i guess getting bored at home and then uh there's this government job came up with the ministry of uh, agriculture and oh, um cool. she took it yeah yeah hey, Fingers so, crossed. so guys thank you uh welcome to fast thoughts this morning it's, it's oh, a saturday recording. that's all right it's it's saturday morning and normally we post on thursdays and we um we've had some some pretty kind of serious fast thoughts so any, um, so I'm traveling. I'm in California um, uh, this week, and then and then uh, I'm in East Vancouver. You know, but yeah, and Kenny's still in East Vancouver. <laughs> but next week, um, Kenny will be in Toronto with me, and then we'll actually you'll see some stuff from us in New York as well. But what we, I thought uh, we we just kind of like have a Saturday morning chat about um, Food Pro and what was happening. So so what you heard was just Kenny running into Jeanette, um, who's been on the show before. Um, well, I'll link her episode below, but uh, that's cool. How, how was the rest of the show? You know what? Honestly, I, I, I thought the show was, was really, really good. I mean, I think, I you know, not not to give him, you know, not to, not to scream out, like, praise and thing for, for yeah. you know, the crew, but really, they did a good job. Like, it was, it was, it was well done. It was buttoned down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I thought I thought the the speakers were 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 really good. I mean, I thought the content was 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 good. No different than anything, you know. There's there's stuff that you yep. stuff that you like and stuff that you're never too sure about. Yeah. But I I truly enjoyed it. So anyway, we'll go back yeah. to so anyway. If, if I I sit down, yeah. And it's funny because Kyle from True Nosh has yeah. been. Uh, pinging me on LinkedIn, and we, you know, okay. we, didn't, we didn't get a chance to talk at the presentation that I did at BC Food yeah. a while ago. So we ended up sitting together, which is really nice. So we had a good conversation. And then as the room filled, the room fills, the room fills. Like I didn't realize what's going to be. There's like 400, 450 people at this event. Amazing, right? And it's yeah. and it's spread out. Um, there's um, finance guys. There's the legal guys. There's the um, 
um, obviously pro producers, co-packers, processors, and then brands, and then, you know, people like you and I, well, not many of you and I, but well, one of Just us, the yeah, so anyway, but it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> but that's kind of what it was. And, but, um, there's everybody and, else. And yeah, yeah, the talk was good though, but I mean, it, it, you know, the ministry, the minute, the minister of agriculture opened it up. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, which I thought was, was it, I didn't realize they were going to have government kind there, cool. which I thought was interesting. Yeah. Right. Cause yeah. which, you know, I mean, I shouldn't say this because I mean, I'm James and Elisa are more than yeah. capable and obviously they're well connected with the government. I didn't think that yeah. I, for whatever reason in my puny brain, yeah. I didn't think they were that connected, but I thought that was, that's really cool. Right. Because I do think it's important. Like if at least government came to see yeah. You know yep. what this nonprofit what, is what? doing within yeah. this subset, which is really, yeah. really, really, really critical to this yeah. province, et cetera. Right. So, uh, Riaz opened up the show. Um, Ria. Riaz is amazing. That guy's am awesome, man. Like seriously, like it was yeah. such a, like it, you know, I mean, I, I've been to a, I've been to a lot of, I've been to a lot of shows, like like you. I mean, I've been to a lot of shows, um, yeah. and a lot of industry type shows, et cetera. But. Um, like he he got to a couple parts of of his talk and his story and i mean you saw the email i sent him to get him onto the podcast like where you know go mom like he had such a such a really such a beautiful mom story and um he's so family focused but he, he tells his mom's story like uh this part and literally the i i have no shit, right the room is dead quiet like nothing Except you get here sniffling. Oh, right. Yeah, because it's dog, yes. like half, half the cry. room is like tearing up <laughs> because it was a, a, a sad, pretty, beautiful story. Yeah. It was really, yeah. really, it was really sweet. And I, I think, you know, when he talks about, you know, like the powers of conversation, et cetera, like he's got the whole room listening. It was really sweet. Like, honestly, I mean, it's kind of weird, but it was really, it was, it was good. Like he was, it was really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I was so impressed with that. I mean, I went up to him after like, I, I cause I'm thinking, okay, we got to get him on the show. So he's talking to Samantha, Samantha Falk, who's doing the, um, um, MC yeah. and I'm sort of hanging beside them like this, like a, you know, like a fucking vulture over a dead You're carcass. Friendly stalking. Yeah. And I'm trying not to be overtly stalking but I'm not going to be massively <laughs> covertly stalking. So I'm kind of in that balance between, you know, that and, you know, and they kind of yeah. started decided to sort of turn around and, and I, you know, and then someone came in and, and, and grabbed them. So we, then we started talking and I apologized to said, Liz and she goes, I could feel it. She goes, I know. I said, I feel my mom behind me getting angry that I'm like a freaking stalker. Right. But I said, I didn't want to lose this chance. So I got to meet Samantha, which yeah. was really nice. And then Reyes and I yeah. had to talk and um, uh, it, it was really good. But I'll give you a funny one. So he's so we like he was that good. Right. So that um, uh, Melissa from Spread I'm, I'm talking to Reyes, runs up and she butts right in, which I thought was awesome. And she's I, I thought that was amazing. And rah, 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 she's going on and on. And, you know, she's wanting to know how how. Can he help her? Because if I could just get a couple minutes of your time, could you, you know, because he's that good, right? And I think I'm, yeah. I'm really excited about this conversation with him because uh, um, thinking more of how you talk to people and the conversations you have, et cetera, is, is going to be a really yeah. powerful tool for everybody. I think he's going to be really, really relevant to every single one of our listeners. And, and you know what? And and it's like everything. Like cause I think you and I are both sometimes similar that like we've run to enough shows. You know that cynical part comes in. You're thinking, okay, here goes another talker, right? And, yeah, they're gonna tell us how to, you know, talk about you know, yeah. know meaningful yeah. conversations and blah blah blah, 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 blah whatever. Yeah. And then you walk on, think, wow, that was like really. That was crazy. That was that was pretty on. That was that was like spot on. That's awesome. I think he's, yeah. I think he's gonna do that. So I think it's gonna help a lot of our listeners. I'm not going to go through every single thing. Uh, another yeah. couple of cool thoughts as far as like Tara Bosch came up and talked, which I thought was really cool because I mean, it's hard for Tara not to be inspiring because you know, she did smart suites and sells it for a trillion dollars. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but yeah. It, it wasn't even the fact of how much money she got. It's just that her drive is really amazing. And she's just, uh, she's journey, just, right? She's like just a cool young woman. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, she's yeah. just, yeah. I mean, it's, it's hard, right? Because, you know, like we can get into dad mode. So, you know, when you're watching, 
young women up there and you're transposing yeah. your daughter yeah. up there and you're thinking, wow, my, you know, my daughter's got a yeah. lot of those attributes, whether she's they're not doing the same things, but you think, wow, this is really nice to see. And yeah, you know, that kind of that, that shit. Awesome. And then there was a little forum then, with, um, yeah. With Aaron with, from Organica. Yeah. Aaron and Jade and, Jade and Karen. And, Karen. Yeah. and was there somebody else that I thought it was four or was no, it... and then there's the moderator or, or oh, okay. And you know, okay. again, just, um, I mean, the relationship with Jade and Karen is just, I don't I mean, this is going to, again, I'm going to sound like an old man, daddy. It's just sweet. I mean, it's just, it's just lovely to see, yeah, I mean, they're you know, friends they're and, friends yeah. and, yeah. you know, I don't know, just like, I'm just watching up there, you know, you want to be proud for them. You know, you kind of think, okay, yeah. well, look at the kids yeah. and oh my God, they're doing so well. And, yeah. and, yeah. and, you know, and Aaron has his shit together and it's, I just, it, it, you know, it's nice to see Aaron that he's sort of taking over from dad. You know, Jade's got mom working with her. You know, and yeah, Karen family, developing right? this, like, and Karen's doing her thing with her. Like, just like they're all yeah. just really cool kids. Like, I can't say yeah. kids. I know, just cool young people. Like, honestly, like yeah. this, just really cool. Like, super cool. Well, and and Karen's people. now got Justin with her. I saw our, our friend, our friend from. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I saw Justin that's, after that's the show, amazing. which was really from cool. Hearts and Cards, yeah, yeah, Justin Osborne. Yeah. So anyway, that yeah. that's sort of where the show went. Um. That side, and then outside, yeah. Then I bump into people, so I saw Corianne. You know, how do you not love Corianne? Yeah, you know, yeah. I saw Corianne, yeah. and then we saw yeah. Amanda, who's wanting to introduce me to people, and you know, yeah, like, yeah, it's just yeah. I don't know, it's amazing. It's just, yeah, honestly, like, so it sounds like a great show. You know what? I, I, okay, I'm gonna sound terrible. I, I didn't, I didn't, I hadn't set the bar massively high. I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be that good. And no, and for no reason, like zero reason. It's just because I think I've been no, way too, too, way too yeah. many shows, and I yeah. just don't. I know there's gonna be four shows, and I don't expect a lot. I, I no. just think, yeah, you're right because we go to a lot of shows, and so you kind of go, cool. It should be there. Should be some moments. It should yeah. be amazing. Yeah. But there was a lot more uh, right. really interesting moments yeah. and cool moments. Um, and then actually, I got invited to a sidebar lunch where they had. Um, some consultants and uh, talking to industry about um, potentially how the government could help out within the within the uh, food system, supply system, whatever, all that kind of stuff. Oh, that must have, must have been. No, that just got me angry. But that's okay. That's that's <laughs> that's me. And that's why well, Kirk's on the show. I, so Kirk I, from Hardbite. You know why Kirk from Hardbite's on the show coming up? Because after why? we left, I said you owe me a podcast now. Yeah, he goes, he I'm does. sorry. I put, I'm sorry. I put you on the spot because Kirk calls me out to respond to something, and I was quiet. But you would have been so proud of me for 40 minutes. I said nothing, nothing. I was so quiet. Yeah. So I thought, okay, I'm going to walk out of this. I'll, I'll talk to Elisa and yeah. James later, and you know, to because uh, Ian was there and a few people. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Kirk like pokes me, and of course that sets me off. Right, so away I go. It yeah. was. It was. It was good. I really. I had a good day. I think, I think for you and I, I think I'd like to get much more involved with them. I wish we could find the Ontario one. I think um, CHFA is going to be very similar. I think the more we do, I think it's really important, especially for now that we have um, a little bit broader voice. Like we actually, you know, are in a much better spot than we were two years ago to disseminate information mm -hmm. uh, because you have a larger audience. I think these, types of organizations and shows can be really valuable for the industry, for consumers. Like if they're broader reaching than just a few people in a room. Yeah. Right. So I, I was really happy that I went really happy and I hope we can do them a service by. We're, we're pretty excited. Like, so I've also reached out to the Atlantic food and bev folks as well. Oh, we'd like to get tied into them. So we're talking to them as well, and then we'll we'll find the Ontario folks, and there's a Quebec one we should probably reach out to. I think Quebec I'm would sorry. be really important too because mm -hmm. they're going to be a unique between the Maritimes yeah. and Quebec. They're both unique mm -hmm. areas, no mm -hmm. different than the uniqueness of BC. Yeah, but I yeah. do think it's really important. The Ontario one, I'm just worried that it's going to be um, well, just big Ontario's conglomerates just, uh, and, yeah, and multinationals. They're, they're bigger which, companies that you know they don't necessarily need our voices. So so I guess that's unless know, what one. it is maybe we just change the voice so that it's a little yeah. more um, we'll cross that path when we get to it a little more yeah. grounded yeah um i think anyway, the great show before... so off to... and awesome. i told sumner that i kind of like her but not really because i'm not a big fan of phil or her when they're together but sumner, that's okay i love it i love it i love 
Summer, you just keep doing what you do. It's all good. I told her I may thank her, but not really. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I think the other things before we kind of like sign off today is Penny and I will be, um, we'll be moving around a bit for the next little while. So I think a couple of things like Kenny's going to be in Toronto next week with me. We're going to hang out for a little bit. We're going to go spend some time with CHFA. Um, and then we're actually going to be at fancy food in New York city. Um, so I think if you are listening to this and you are going to be at that show, hit us up for sure. So we'd, we'd love to oh, be definitely see around, you if like, you're going to yeah. be at the show. We'll be and walking around if you with can't uh, be there. If you, if you, if you want to see something at the show, hit us up too. And then we'll see if we can get some footage or something yeah. like that, or walk bits of the show. We may, we may try and do that. Um, we're not fancy tech like that, but we may try and do that and see if we can walk parts of the show to be able to show you what's happening there as well um yeah well anyway. hopefully phil will, phil will be recording um some stuff because we're actually there with we're actually on the hunt like mm-hmm. i got two hats of that one in a sense right where there's you and mm-hmm. i doing yeah. us yeah and then, and then i'm Lagrata also there with Lagrata, for... and we're actually looking yeah. for um whether yeah. it's a product product lines ideas yeah. concepts etc so yeah. um actually it might even be a might be a cool might be a cool dinner recording there. Yeah, I think right? so. With uh, so. you know, maybe yeah. with uh, do a recap with Keith and uh, Tom. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Okay. We'll so anyway, we'll I'm excited it. about that. I I, awesome. I love that show. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. Anyway, so that's a fast thought um, for a lazy Saturday um, weekend convo instead of our normal yeah. Thursday with some intensity. Yeah, Phil um, hanging around lemon trees and pomegranate I trees. Am. And... I am. I've never seen a pomegranate tree before. Very pretty. I think that makes pretty, me a pretty flowers. mouse for sure, but very pretty beautiful. flowers. Anyway, um, anyway, you guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, everybody. Appreciate it.